My name is Chilumba, and I am talking the impact that you have on the business that you run and how that the impact that you have contributes to your growth as a business. We've been talking the 12 reasons why your business is not growing and how to fix it. And I come on with number two of one of these very important nuggets. And the nuggets we're dealing with today is the inability to understand what growth means. Now, let me tell you a story. One of the people that I know very well is a retiree that has been re retired for just about two years, I think, and they've been running three outlets, I think four outlets of mechanical spare cells. Outlets that sell mechanical spares from cars to auto um, related kind of uh, uh, engineering equipment and they've been operating these three outlets three to four outlets for a while now but one thing that i've noticed is that there's potential to grow and they just can't see it how can they not see it the reason why they can't see it is because not everybody has the ability to tap into the potential that the market they exist in is able to deliver and that is one important aspect businesses that can see potential within their environment and abstract understanding of what it takes to get that potential and turn it into a market is very very critical so as a business and as an entrepreneur you need to understand that potential exists in time frames and windows and unless you are able to seize that potential that exists in your market for expansion will move with time because there are number one new entrants number two shifts in tests and likes and desirability of what you have to offer because there are options and number three basically because every market matures and every product has a height and a slope so you have to be very careful and tap into new markets, new opportunities, and expand your horizon. So how do you do this? The basic understanding of doing this and the best point of dispatcher is understanding the kind of market you are serving. What are their new needs? For example, if you run an auto make shop, like the person that I was talking to who runs a mechanical spare part shop, you need to understand where are my clients moving? If they used to buy a certain range of equipment which was a certain age, they're probably now moving to something a little bit newer. So you need now to change your inventory cycle and change how much of that inventory of the old stuff you are keeping versus what they are acquiring. That sets you up to tap into new opportunities. Let's take another example. Another example would be a chef who operates a restaurant. They operate a restaurant and now they need to tap into new markets. What are the new markets existing? World over today, people are eating healthy. They're shifting from high carb meals to very lean meals that have a lot of healthy benefits for them. So as a restaurant and you want to tap into the future opportunities of the market, what do you do? Divide the menu into two or three portions, healthy, semi-healthy, very healthy and traditional, then you are able to tap into a new market. Opportunity doesn't exist for a long time until other people can see it. Remember, the very thing you're looking for in your market, in your business, there is always somebody else looking at that opportunity. So speed and time to execution becomes an important variable. So one of the reasons why you're not growing is your inability to seize the opportunities that exist. But we can train you and help you to see these things as though they existed for a long time. Wonderful joining us. Keep on tuning in. We've got other series coming talking about this subject. And I hope that you will share, you will laugh, you will comment on the video because the learning always happens after class. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you go be awesome and grow your business. Thank you. Cheers and bye-bye.